feeling sick? You there. You don't seem to be in quite the same state as the others here. Very interesting. May I ask what it is you're doing here? Nerak, Nerak. It sounds familiar, and yet I can't quite place... Oh, wait, I, I recall. But that makes very little sense. Nerak's been dead for thousands of years. I'm not sure. But it is fascinating, isn't it? Perhaps it has some relation to what's going on here. Quite unexpected. I'm afraid I can't give you any answers, but there are ruins of an ancient temple of Mirax toward the center of the island. If I were you, I'd look there. Building something, clearly. And yet they don't seem to have much to say about it. I'm very interested to find out what happens when they think. Certainly not. Doing so would interfere with whatever is going on. And I would be unable to see how this all turns out. Now, him, do we say? It's the homeland of the Dunmer. The lesser races call us Around Dark Elves. We built great works there, like Vivek and Aldruin. Many of them are destroyed now, either by Red Mountain or the Argonian invasion. It is the only place where silt striders can be found. Although I managed to transplant a few here when I arrived. There is the big island of Ardenfell and the coastal mainland. Hmm? And when? That seems inadvisable. Oh, fascinating. By touching the stone, you appear to have fallen under whatever influence is affecting Here the others. in my shrine. That you ah, so you are able to resist. I exerted your will. Ah! I would advise touching the stone again. Effects of repeated contact could be that we might remember. Unless, of course, you'd like to contribute to my investigation. By night, night we reclaim. Misery? I'll give you misery. Try get head over to the wretched mansion. Yeah, I You haven't seen Crescent. No, 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 this isn't just your run-of-the-mill pickaxe. I'm talking about an ancient Nordic pickaxe. They don't exactly grow on trees, you know. Um, I prefer to handle these things on my own. Look, if you see Crescent, tell him to give me that pickaxe back, and I'll pay you for the trouble. Well, well. It's been a long time since someone from the guilds bothered to make their way out here. So tell me, how's my brother Delvin? Still spending his nights at the Ragged Flagon trying to win Vex's heart? Good to hear. Damn layabout never even bothers to send his own flesh and blood a letter saying how he's doing. Can you imagine? Anyway, I suppose you're looking for work. Well, I got bad news. This place is drier than a damn bone. 
Eager to make some coin, eh? That's the spirit. I'll tell you what. The guild's got a problem out here that I've been trying to deal with for years, but haven't been able to handle. Don't look at me like that. I'm all alone out here, with no one to watch my back. And besides, it's really my problem anyway. I caused it. A fellow Breton who went by the name Esmond Tyne showed up on my doorstep about a fortnight ago. He noticed the shadow marks like you did, and I thought he was one of us. That he did, right out from under my nose. Can you believe it? It's my own formula for improved bone mold. Took me years to perfect. Well, before he ran off, he was talking some nonsense about trying to fence goods to the Reeklings at Castle Karstag. I told him he was crazy to even think about talking to those vicious little buggers. But he wouldn't listen. I'd bet a fat purse a coin that he's either dead or hiding out up there. You do that, and I'll make sure you're set up right. You won't be disappointed. No, I... Wait, maybe. I don't know how I know that name. I... I'm not sure. I don't want to talk about this. A fine question, and the one that I hear most often from visitors to our town. I wish I had a more romantic tale to tell, but I was simply seeking my fortune and chose Ravenrock to ply my trade. Besides, knowing how to repair bone mold armor wasn't very useful in Riften. I had a friend over there, a dark elf named Van Reif, a very talented armorsmith. Spent a lot of time with the guy swapping smithing techniques. Learned a heck of a lot, including how to repair bone mold. After he moved on to greener pastures, I decided to pack up, move out here, and put those lessons to the test. Been here ever since. It's the only tool tough enough to crack Stallrim, is what it is. Not many of those beauties left in the world. Forging them is a lost art. The one Crescius borrowed came from the Skull Village up north. I, uh, traded them some good... Find my pickaxe yet? Calling Stallrim an ore is like calling my forge a campfire. Some folks say it's enchanted ice, but I think there's more to it than that. I don't think I've come across more than a chunk or two in my lifetime, and smithing's my trade. If you're looking to learn more, you should head over to the Skull Village. Someone there's bound to know more about it than I do. Take a look. You tell Crescius he better give that pickaxe back to me, or else... You think you have? Try walking the wall. Councillor Morbane is the only 